single drop. A single drop is all it takes to cause a ripple effect. A ripple effect that will make a long-lasting impact on many. That will increase health. Provide hope. Inspire confidence. Empower leaders. With that single drop, we have created rippling networks of people that transform neighborhoods, communities, and entire regions with safe water, disinfectant, and better health. But that single drop that starts it all. Is you? You are that single drop that it takes to start the ripple effect that changes the world. Well, create your own ripple. That's the number one thing we keep saying, and we just heard it right there. It starts mm -hmm. with you. So Mark mm -hmm. and Joe, I mean, you all, just one single person can create this ripple effect. And tell me how many people you all have affected this year. Well, this year's over three million. We think 3.3 .3 million. Um, that uh, like Claudia and Zachary were talking with Dita, that kind of leadership um, has affected and affected and affected. Uh, we we talked about our East Africa office. We could put a thousand pieces of equipment right now in East Africa if we had the funding. And that equipment could be burned up probably in three to four months because they already are looking ahead uh, to what they want to do. And, you know, we were talking about earlier about uh, the Hua and the volunteers and, and the passion and the calling that we seem to have. Um, you know, it, it's amazing how that, that happens uh, with people and individuals at Watertown. Before COVID, the year before COVID, we had 3,000 tours in our building for the year before COVID. Most of those were student groups. They get jazzed, they get excited, they do water projects, they do shoe drives. I actually interviewed a gal um, not a couple of years ago that was in middle school volunteering and doing shoe drives years ago. So for a job, I mean, this, this passion, uh, Olivia, gets under your skin and, and makes a, a big difference because because it's such a direct uh, ripple wave factor to someone else's life to give them hope. And I was even telling you all, I remember doing stuff with Water right. Step in the high sacred school. Heart. Sacred that's right, heart. that's right, that's so, right. I mean, yeah. It really sticks with you, but you don't realize the impact you make because, I mean, just doing stuff here in Louisville can help people all over the world, right. too. And we just saw it in that video, too. What's it like to know that you might not ever meet these people? You probably won't, but you're changing lives. Right. right. I think a lot of it, too, is listening to the need that, that, that's out there. And, right. you know, talk a little bit about, if you want to, the bleach maker and yeah. how y'all came up with that. It's a crazy story. Mm -hmm. uh, our, we came up with the bleach maker, uh, our group, a volunteer group in the, in the shop, and we started uh, th thinking that uh, with Ebola crisis, uh, a lot of the demand was for bleach for disinfectant. And as we found out, even here, when COVID started, you couldn't buy bleach at your local grocery store. Mm -hmm. And if you could make bleach on site, whether it's in Louisville, Kentucky, or if it's in Kenya, it doesn't matter if you can make bleach cheaply with available table salt, a little power, you can create a, a strong disinfectant that is used worldwide and recommended by the World Health Organization for medical disinfection. Mm -hmm. And we created that uh, with some trial and error and, and uh, expertise from our volunteers who bring all sorts of talents to, mm -hmm. the, uh, to the shop. And we were able to develop this bleach maker, which 
is there's nothing like it out there. You know, you'd think there would be. I mean, it's the oh, size right. of a curling iron. It's like, what the heck are people doing? Don't, don't they have this? Well, you look at the Ebola virus in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and we had hundreds of units in a strategy with a gentleman uh, that used to be a, a, prof, uh, a, a physician there. So he brings in a plan. He gets with 100 doctors. They come up with this. They call it the T-factor, so that as we're running from civil war and we're getting sick, blah, 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 I'm going to bump into a clinic that's got this mm -hmm. infected. Right. Where well, you're thinking, wouldn't they already had something like that? Right. But they don't. And so the Minister uh, of Health for the country said because of that strategy and that dedication of those doctors with the bleach maker, again, it's not about the equipment. It's about the people that can come up with that T-factor strategy, mm -hmm. apply it to the situation. He said Ebola was abated because of that. So that's huge, huge. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. It's crazy. I, I would say crazy and yeah. huge definitely yeah. describes it right there. Yes, but we have about one minute left. Tell us where's Water Step going, the future of Water Step. So we're hoping uh, with our future uh, in the next three years that we can put up to five of our international offices in place. Uh, we'd like to see up to 100 million people total impacted. Um, you know, we keep bumping that number up. We're able to do that 3 million this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're, we're hoping to expand our, our volume volunteer base internationally like Claudia talked to that 50 50 60 passionate people can we bring it up to 400 so we think the ripple effect of, of this momentum is creating this wave that over the next three years if we can capture it very well work with some big international partners we can take off that's, that's the hope and prayer we have and you say it all it takes is one person yes ma'am I right. love that well thank just, you all just like you Olivia. just like one me person. just like me right. well I'm telling you I'm already inspired hopefully we have some viewers out there who have listened to this and they'll be inspired too. Thank Beautiful. you all so much. Wave News at 3 is up next. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs>